can't be. That? That's the Red Death? Think we can handle it? <laughs> we could always call in the Marines. Oh, ha ha. You take him out, I promise you. It'll be worth every minute spent in this gauntlet. Staying hydrated is half the battle, right? He ain't got a choice. All I'm asking is that you trust me on this and give it a shot. I swear, it'll be worth it. Sure, sure. And while you're at it, I suppose next you'll be offering me a million caps. All right, all right. I get it. You don't trust me. But I swear, this is the big score. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. If you're searching for a more ridiculous pair of sunglasses, don't bother. I doubt such a thing exists. Sunglasses? Oh, you mean the cappy glasses. Sorry, sometimes I forget I'm even wearing them. Like so, much to me. you're Gage's little talk, pet project. Talk to Nisha. <laughs> and what are you? His grandma? <laughs> if I was, I would have slit that little suck-up's throat a long time ago. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. Actually, I'm really more in this for the soda. Great. Another nut- William. Of course, overboss. And all the cute little prizes you can win? Yeah, you can thank me for those too. Careful. You keep patting yourself on the back like that, and your arm's gonna break. Give me a break. That's all I've got. Now that I get a closer look at you, not sure I'm buying this new overboss thing. I'll send you my resume and references. The fuck's a resume? But that... Really, that was all on me. I'm the one who talked him into being overboss in the first place. If you're gonna tell me you shoved a hand up his ass and turned him into a human puppet, I don't want to hear it. Shit, man. Vivid imagination you got there. If your score is high enough, the machine will kick out a bunch of tickets which you can redeem at a prize terminal for all sorts of goodies. Damn it! Ah, I already spent all my tokens on some magic beans. Very funny. Excellent. What do you say? Deputy, can you help an honest horse trader out? Rustle up some horses for you, huh, cowboy? I'll be back before sundown. Appreciate it. Oh, maybe Doctor Under Giant Metal Snake. The uh, giant metal snake. Of course. New friend, funny. How not see giant metal snake? What about yes. Miss Trixie? If you're and missing an item, Andy Hank, stop by our lost and found at the main gate. Oh, your yeah. Old oh, Trixie and Hank told me all about the California gold rush. Fun and educational. Now, that's good to hear. Hey, boss. Can I ask you something? Didn't you just? Oh, my God. Maybe I ought to just shoot you instead. It's simpler than I was expecting. Well, damn, I was sure the letter spelled fresh ginger. That stuff is great in hot tea with honey, lemon, a little brandy, a lot of brandy. Nice try, but you'd be one G short. So let's just assume it's refreshing. What? No! Come on, you're a disembodied head trapped in a vault. You've got so much to live for. Look who it is. Are you here to grace my humble market stand with your presence, oh great boss, sir? Damn right. You should thank me. It's not every day I wander out to visit the peasants. For a second there, I thought you might be making a joke. Hell, I even considered laughing. I'm thinking it's time we set our sights on the Commonwealth. Aiming pretty high, aren't you, Gage? Why stop there? Why not take over the moon while we're at it? <laughs> now nah, the little green men can keep that one. Don't look so surprised. We ain't all knuckle-draggers. A bag of animal bits. Well, this isn't the worst thing I've ever been given. Thank you, Mason. You're welcome. Suppose this provides us a good opportunity to make an example. You thinking what I'm thinking? Mayhem and destruction is what I'm thinking. 
for what it's worth. <gasps> Were you thinking about throwing an ice cream social too? Uh, wasn't my first idea. No. Commonwealth has a ton of shitty little settlements that could be put to better use. Don't you think? Oh, nuts. I was just starting to get cozy in my little castle. Now you're starting to sound like Coulter. You remember? The idiot whose body we recently dumped into the river? Huh. Heard some rumbles this one didn't get you either. Figure I shouldn't be surprised. Oh no, Shank. I died. I'm a ghost. <laughs> well, your secret's safe with me, regardless. Oh, and of course, you could always lend Mags or Mason a hand. I'm sure they have plenty of jobs to run. That's all, huh? While I'm at it, you got any laundry that needs to be done? <laughs> like I ever bothered changing clothes. But, as luck would have it, it would seem that this was the life you were meant for. Dang! I was hoping I could be a pony. Sorry, boss. Take it from experience. There's no use in fighting who you are. He's in charge of the caravan, so odds are you can find him somewhere near the marketplace. What's he gonna do? Show me how to milk a Brahmin? Maybe. If you ask him nicely. You done good, boss. What's next? I'm taking my caps and retiring to a desert island. Try not to wreck the place. <laughs> you can't escape the lure of caps and mayhem. You're in the chase for life, like the rest of us. Me being new and young, I didn't know enough to keep my mouth shut. Started making suggestions about how to improve things. <laughs> oh, I could just picture it now. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Raider Boss, but I have an idea. <laughs> yeah. That's probably about how it sounded. I suppose Gage wasn't wrong to put so much faith in you. You've certainly earned your place here. Now don't go getting all mushy on me, Max. I'm not sure I can handle any tears. Rest assured, there will be no tears. I'm merely stating fact. 